Okay, 10 to 1000, there's about 1800 responses here, or 1000 today, or 1800. So there's the employee number. So I'm just going to take that and I'm going to just come across here, oops, to here. And I'm just going to go back up to the top of the data set. Okay? There's actually a short, short uh, cookie that I can actually do on Excel here, but I, I'm on the Mac, so I don't really know it on the Mac. Uh, maybe someone can tell me that okay so there's the data set there so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna copy that data set okay so that's all i want is the actual values i don't want the names of the variables yeah okay i just want the actual values i'm gonna copy that i'm gonna go control c you can see it's actually highlighted now yeah okay, which means that it's been copied and what i'm just gonna do now is i'm just gonna open up spss and uh, so i'm gonna go down here i'm gonna open up spss here's spss on my machine so spss is gonna open up now for me uh, usually the first time you go into SPSS it asks you what type of encoding system do you want to use. I've already gone by that. So you're going to use Unicode encoding system. But there you go, SPSS is open. I'm just going to ask for a new data set and I'm going to say open. So it's going to open up a new data set for me, which is a blank data set. Uh, as I've said many times before in, my me in the many videos that I've done on SPSS, there's actually two windows that I have now. Okay, I've got this particular data window. Let me just minimize that. How do I do that? Let me just minimize that. Maybe where's it gone to? Oops. Just make that a bit bigger. Sorry, just give me one second here, guys. Okay. Okay. So we have this particular, we have this particular data window that has two views. Okay. It has the data view and the variable view. Okay. We we'll back to that now in a second. And then we have an output window where all the output, all of the, all of the analysis that we do, uh, generating graphs and statistics, all the output is, is passed to this particular window here. But we're interested at this moment about getting the data into SPSS. So here's my data file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make sure I'm in the data view where that's where I am at the moment. I'm not in the variable view. I'm in the data view. And I'm just going to click on the first cell here and I'm going to paste in what I've copied out of Excel. So let's just remind ourselves there's what I've copied in Excel. Okay, uh, I want to go back to SPSS. Okay, I want to go back to SPSS, click on the first cell, and I'm going to control V. I'm going to copy all of that data in there. Okay, that might take uh, just a couple of seconds to do. There you go, all the variables, all the data has gone in here. Let me go to full screen now. Okay, so when you're in SPSS, that's what you should see. Yeah, okay, is just something that looks like this all of the actual numbers. So what I'm now going to do, and this is going to take a little bit of time, is I'm going to go to the variable view window, okay? And you can see in the variable view window I have 14 rows. Them 14 rows represent the actual 14 columns of data that we've actually put in to the data view window. Don't forget, each column represents the results or the values associated with a particular variable. Each column represents the values associated with a particular question okay, that was asked to these employees. So what I need to do now is I need to I need to give all of these things in here. This is a bit small, hopefully you can see it. Uh, I need to specify their names, the name of each variable. Uh, I also need to specify the measure, the scale of measure for each variable. And where there are values, okay, I need to specify excuse me I need to specify the values so the first the first variable uh, in my Excel sheet let me go back into the Excel sheet and see the first variable is employee number and it's nominal the next one is gender and it's nominal next one is age and it's ordinal length of service it's ordinal so let's just do them four really quickly so <clears throat> let me go back into SPSS here okay so the first one is employee oh let me just click on that the first one is employee let me move that out of the way employee number okay that's my first variable and it's nominal so I come over to measure and I'm going to specify it to be a nominal variable so there you go it's coded up now as nominal and there's no values associated with it the next variable okay uh, is gender okay so I'm going to say give it a name gender okay uh, it's also nominal so I'm going to come over and say it's nominal but it does have values Okay. Zero represents males and one represents females. So I need to specify them values here. So I'm going to click on the values button and I'm going to say zero represents male. Okay. And I'm going to add that. And now I'm going to say one represents female. Okay. And I'm going to add that. 
Okay. You can see these decimals here. Okay, them decimals are appearing because we've set I'm gonna hit OK here because we've specified the decimals on that particular variable here in this column as two. So actually I'm gonna bring that down to down to zero and same with employee number down to zero. But the important thing now is this is that my values now you can see zero represents males, one represents females. So if I go back to my data view window. Here's my data view window. You can see what's had to happen here is that the employee column, this first column is after being called employee number. Uh, the next column is after being called gender. Okay. Now it's still ones and zeros down here, but if I toggle here, you can see that there's a switch here that is a button here that points to one, it points to a number, and it points to a letter. So it allows me to toggle between the between the coding, the values. Okay, if there's any values specified for the variable. So for gender, there you go. I'm at a click, and you can see that the ones are going to females, and then back to ones when I click it again. Okay. The next variable that we have, yeah, the third variable, let me just go back into my Excel sheet to have a look at that, is the age of the individual, which is ordinal, okay? So I'm going to go back into SPSS, and I'm going to specify that variable, okay? Uh, it's age, okay? So let me go into variable view. So my next variable...